Hello, the internet. My name is Chaos King and video games. Holy crap, it's video games again. I know. It's been so long. I almost I almost don't remember how to play video games. No, I never knew in the first place. Uh, yeah. I was like, oh, I should record some video games finally. And then I was like, oh, I have a Civ 5 playthrough that I need to finish. And I was like, nah. So Civ 5 playthrough, I'll finish it. Eventually. It's on hold indefinitely, though. Uh, because I was getting pooed on, and I need to figure out a way to not get pooed on and win. Right? Right. So what's this, you might be asking? Well, in case you couldn't tell by the title of the fucking video, because you can't read, or you couldn't read this right here, it's System Shock 2! It is a video game. Came out in 1999, you can see my little copyright thing here. I never played this game. Uh, loads of people have played this game, and they're like, oh, it's the greatest game ever, or it's one of the greatest games ever, and you know, maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, if you don't know anything about this game, uh, I guess it's kind of like a predecessor to Bioshock. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I never played it. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about this game. That's pretty much all I do know. But, uh, let's go play it! Aw, oh, difficulty. Uh, as good of an idea as impossible sounds like, I think I'm just gonna go for hard. Yeah, let's go! Oh. Look at you, hacker. Look at me. The pathetic creature of meat and bone. Ah. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. What? How can you challenge a perfect immortal machine? I don't know what's happening. Well, that was spooky. In 2072, oh, here we go. Sorry. a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan oh, no. lost her mind. What a bitch. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess hmm. destined to inherit the earth. That's not good. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. Good. I'm guessing that was System Shock 1, which I also never played. Probably never will. But, you know, who needs it? February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. Ooh. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. That sounds like fun. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems. Neat. Nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNM Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself. Oh, I love that guy. Hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. What? This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. This is the best advertisement. I want advertisements like this. Oh man. Oh man, what's going on there? Oh, ship security compromised and other bullshit going down. Oh man. Hey, look, it's me. Alright, so this game. I'm gonna play it like I played Deus Ex. So I'm gonna have no idea what the fuck is going on. So I might run around for an hour like an asshole at some point. And, uh, you know, that's what's going to happen. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN recruitment oh. facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grab shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grab shafts. I will do that as soon as I fix my sensitivity, because it's ridiculous right now. <coughs> 
Ah. <clears throat> I also got the coughs again. I always have the coughs when I start recording things. It's how I work. It's the only way I can work. Uh, it's a little better. What? 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 Ah, I just realized I'm retarded. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I need to fix the controls. Let me edit it. Oh, it is there. Uh... No, hold on. This won't do what I want. Oh! Ah, uh, this doesn't... Get out of here. Uh, let's see, do we have anything good? Standard FPS, what's that like? Uh, no, yes, nothing else. 80. Do, do, do. These mostly look good. Lean. Uh, yeah, those are probably good. Crouch is X. Alright, that's weird. Too lazy to rebind that, though. Yeah, it's like good enough. Where's my... That S plus alt. We're just gonna... Find... Doot. Find... Doot. Hey! Alright, there we go, it's... That's better. Hello! Where was I going? Ring? Fuck, what's my use button? Do I have a use button? I don't know if there is one. Uh, it might be... Re use item right click, alright, cool. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I still might need to fuck with the sensitivity more! Ah! Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Whoa, grav shafts! I want these. Sweet. Do you do what's going on over here? Are there any secrets? Oh, I pressed a button. Uh, I saved the game again. That totally wasn't a button I meant. To. All right, all right, those are my turns. I don't need those. Oh, what's over here? Garbage. Garbage day. Not really though. What's what's going on everywhere? Oh, uh, who are you? Ring. Hello. What's this place? I want in. All right, they won't let me in. Dicks. Y'all are dicks. No one likes you. Oh, you went in. This is where I'm going, probably. Hey, training. I need that. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. I agree. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Is that saving game thing not leaving? To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get by in the service, enter this cyberlink booth. Inside, hmm. you'll learn the basic skills you'll need to get started. To pick up some basic oh, skills you'll need to say the thing again. Welcome, training. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Oh. Now, let's try it out. Move the mm. mouse. See how it changes where you look? That means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab key. This puts you in use mode, oh. where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Look at my psionics ability, I'm a badass. Modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path also, this won't leave. to the next training station. I don't know how to make that leave, it looks like it never will. Follow the red path. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right-click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, 
Press the tab oh, key. Shit, choose you can move items chips. around your inventory by left clicking and dragging them around. Drop an item, drag it from your inventory into the 3D view, and release the mouse button. Mm, that's problematic if this shit's never gonna leave. To use items like buttons in computers, center them in Aha, your I went through and it, idiot. the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar and right click. This will activate the lift. Mm. Cool, I guess Try I can't it. actually go on the lift. If you can still see your inventory display, it means you're in use mode. Hit tab to return to shoot mode. Neat. Virtual lift. I like it. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Hey. Your hit points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen. Yeah, I Many see that. objects in your inventory can be used by right clicking on them. See the uh... crate in front of you? To search it, center it on your screen and right click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right click. To take an item from that container, mm -hmm. simply left click on it. This will automatically place that item in your inventory. To close the container window and return to shoot mode, press the tab key. I'm up here now. Suck it. Alright, where are we going? One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. This message Click is on the disk icon audio at the bottom you of your screen up. to bring up you the PDA display. PDA at any time Currently, play any copies audio of log your PDA are received. Now the pick up the audio the PDA log in is also you. used for keeping track of your current mission objectives and obtaining help information. Everyone was talking at the same time. I hope you all got everything, because I know I didn't. Now it's time to learn about jumping and mantling. To jump, simply press the space bar. Some surfaces can be mantled onto by holding down the space bar. Yeah, okay, I already got Mantling that. Mantling lets you pull yourself up to ledges and other high places in front of you already to climb a ladder. Got this. Simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. Alright, is there any way to fix this shit? Hold up. Man. That's really gonna be obnoxious. Ah. Uh. I don't know why there would be anything in controls for it, but we're looking anyway. Message history? Hey! Oh, that's what I hit before. Okay, I turned it on. Alright. You've done we got well. there. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. Yeah, okay. I did it! Thanks, Robert. Do -do -do -do. I just leave. I just left. I meant to go in the advanced training door, and I went in the wrong door and just left. If you've completed I'm a basic genius. training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas. All right, wannabe. If you want oh, to shit. weapon skills, it takes to even think about joining the Marines. Come on in. Oh, I love this We're guy. We're looking for a few good men. Oh, you said the thing. Good to have you on board. You'll notice when you're in the cyber lick. Now we'll teach you how to handle Oop. a firearm. <laughs> Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. Clip. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot yeah, in the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. I did that. Press two. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button Already on the lower right corner did of the screen. Once you've loaded the firearm, take a shot at the dummy robot by pressing your left mouse button when in shoot mode. You notice how its health bar gets shorter as you chip away at it. Yeah, I did it. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. Uh -huh. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy based items. Oh, neat. Weapons, batteries, ignite. Cool. Energy weapons. Yeah.
Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, uh -huh. open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. I gotta figure it out. <laughs> good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Did not need to listen to the rest Take of him talking. The other training areas. Inside, we'll teach you the basics of some technical skills you'll need in the Navy. Oh, the Navy? In the Navy. Welcome. Da, 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 you'll da, 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 da. in the Cyberlink booth. We'll provide you with a temporary cyber interface, and the skills you need mm. to accomplish the training tasks. Yeah. But they'll only last so long. The object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, such as hacking or repairing. Neat. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory, but are instead displayed in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Okie dokie. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left-click mm. on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the Start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. What do I do? Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Oh. Beware the ice nodes with the red outliers. If one of these turns ah. dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Hey! Oh, it won't even open for me now? I just hacked it and you just don't even... door? You can use nanites to buy items from replicators. Oh, yeah. To use Please a replicator, right-click on it. Then left-click on the item you wish to purchase. The item you purchased will come to the slot below. Make sure you pick up your purchases before you leave. Okay, bye. You learn the basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career, such as repairing items and modifying weapons. Ooh. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking interface. Before you enlist... Inside, you will learn how to reach out with your mind. Ooh. Do not let fear block your path. Fear is the mind killer. We've provided you with a virtual interface and the temporary ability to project si The red bar at the lower left no, of your screen tells you how many side points you have. Side ah. points symbolize the current ability to use your side powers. Psi hypos replenish your side points. Try using a psi hypo and watch your side points increase. When you've reached your maximum in side points, move to the next station. All right, let's go use our brain. This Psy app amplifies your Psy powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psy app activates your currently selected Psy oh. discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, cryokinesis and kinetic redirection. Go into use mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available Psy Disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select Psy Disciplines from higher tiers. Use Cryokinesis to destroy the robot and Kinetic Redirection to pull that nanite container towards you. Be careful, well, what holding happened? down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of Psy points, use another Psy Hypo. What was I supposed to pull towards me, Liz? Ugh. Ugh. Holy shit! I thought it would go fast. Ugh. Water. It's delicious. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Hmm. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, hmm. there's no going back. 
A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. What's down here? Uh-oh. Literally nothing. Well, fuck you too. Can I not get back up? I did save just before I jumped down, in case you didn't notice, because I was like, I don't know if I can get back up. Fuck this broken game! Oh, oh, wait. I can get back up, I think. Nope, can I? It, ah, there, we got there. Alright, uh, do I want to be a shooty smashy, a hacky fixy, or a, uh, I haven't thought of a good one for this. A brain surgeon. I don't fucking know. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I feel like normally I pick the Navy. Because hacking abilities are always fun. Like, what do I really get with the Marines? I mean... But magic brain powers... Hmm... Ugh... Alright, fuck the Marines. Do we want to be good at hacking things, or do we want magic brain powers? Hmm... I don't know which to choose. Let's go with magic brain powers. <laughs>